U.S. Senate hopeful Ed Case was in his hometown of Hilo on Thursday night, holding his first East Hawaii campaign function since he announced he was running for the seat being vacated by Senator Dan Akaka. The 86-year-old Akaka is retiring at the end of this, his fourth term. Akaka was in the U.S. House when chosen to fill the term of the late Spark Matsunaga, who died in 1990. The Case for Hawaii team held the chili rice pauhana at the large pavilion at Wailoa River State Park. Case took a moment to speak with Big Island Video News during the event. Well, it's wonderful to be home. Uh, I was born and raised right here in Hilo. I grew up all the way through uh, high school uh, right on the Big Island, so I've always carried uh, my Big Island roots with me very, very proudly, including four years as, uh, as a congressman from uh, the Big Island. Uh, um, the campaign right now, of course, the U.S. Senate campaign is a statewide campaign, and so we're, we're out there going right across the state at the beginning of the campaign, uh, uh, checking in with all of our friends that we've worked with before, and uh, just a ton of new friends that have come into the campaign. I think everybody appreciates how important this election is, and so uh, this is an opportunity for us to get out into the grassroots and, and uh, you know, uh, ask people for their support personally. The former U.S. congressman case challenged and lost his 2006 bid to replace Akaka. So far, it's known that Case will face Congresswoman Maisie Hirono in the Democratic primary. Other possible Democratic candidates include Lieutenant Governor Brian Schatz, former Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman, and other names mentioned include former Hawaii Governor John Waihei, Hawaii State Senate Vice President Donna Mercado Kim, and the State Senate President Sean Sutsui. And one candidate for the Republican Senate primary may be former Hawaii Governor Linda Lingle.